Hey guys, and welcome back to Castle Crush, and today we are going to be looking at a card that I think is a little bit underrated, and that is the Demon. And this is a good card for really one reason and one reason only, and that is its ability uh, to, as it says, to burn the weakest enemy on its lane. And if you use this ability correctly against, say, an Unchained Demon or, you know, uh, an Orc Warrior or something like that, you can get some pretty good results. You can take out an Ape Pirate usually with it, which can be extremely useful because otherwise Ape Pirates are kind of hard to deal with. It could save you having to use a Lightning, basically. Where this wouldn't be very useful is if you used it against a Skeleton or an Archer or something that isn't much of a threat as a single troop because that's what it's going to hit is a single troop. So you want to make sure it hits more like a high uh, high health troop. And if you're hitting an Unchained Demon, I don't think it'll take the entire thing out, but it'll take most of it out. So you'll want to finish it off with something else. But it can assist another troop in finishing it off. And it can assist in hurting a dragon or a black knight. More a black knight than a dragon, but uh, can still be very useful. Against a mud elemental, it can be useful. Uh, it can take out an archer queen. So, again, lots of very useful cards that the demon can take out with its special ability. Now, we have some chests to open up here, so we're going to open these up. And I am sorry that I wasn't able to record anything uh, today very promptly or as much the past couple of days. Uh, I've had some problems with my recording software, and it just doesn't really... I have Reflector 2 and X Mirage, and neither one of them really work well consistently is the problem. Like, they both have bugs and problems that happen on a regular basis, and for me in particular recently, Reflector 2 has been closing just randomly after I started up, and X Mirage has been uh, lagging so badly that, uh, like, when I record, it's just like, you, you know, it's just like a slideshow. So I don't know why it's doing that. I may file a support ticket. Uh, we'll see what happens. But I'm using Air Server to record this, and I'm using Bandicam to record Air Server. I think Air Server can record itself, but uh, whatever. So, long story short, I'm using something different for this video. My third setup so far for YouTube, and let's get back to opening these chests. So we have a silver chest here, and oops. Next we have another silver chest. Okay. Third silver chest. Uh, let's do another free chest. I will say also the Clash Royale content is coming. It's on its way. I'm just sort of uh, doing prep work, but it will be ready sooner than later, hopefully. So, oh, look at all that gold, guys. Look at that gold. And finally the gold chest, but uh, it's not too much of anything. So, so got some good got some good gold out of all that. It's really, really interesting playing, um, playing Clash Royale and then playing Castle Crush again. I feel like I should be playing my cards differently, but maybe that's more just how Clash Royale works. I, it's weird. It's really strange because to me, the games just play, they play kind of differently. And I feel like in Clash Royale, I'm thinking a little bit more about how I'm playing my cards. And in Castle Crush, there's some of that, but it's not... I don't know why I don't think about it the same way, because I think I could think about it the same way. I just don't for some reason. Um, and I don't want that thing to be there. So, we're just clearing whatever we can clear. Let's spread them out a little bit. Uh, I do believe I saw they had arrows, so... Let's see if I can bait that out before I play the Skeleton Swarm. But look at these ape pirates. I don't know what they were acting... I don't know what they thought that did. I'm losing some cards, but that's okay. Let's see if they play arrows right here. They did. 
So there was the arrows. I'll play my skeleton swarm there. And uh, we're making good progress on them. I'm surprised they haven't gone down yet. Um, we'll keep trying some things here. I've got some other cards to play. Oh, I could get this out on that Skull King, the Lightning. Sorry. Interesting. I'm surprised they were able to come back in this one because... Um, well, there we go. That was lucky because I really didn't have too many other options. Uh, I have a lot of arrows, but that's my main defense in this deck against spam. So there's a gold chest, guys, and we're going to set that to unlock a little bit later. So, yeah, I, I thought this deck was going to work a little bit better. The demons at work, but... Again, they worked better in like certain decks like my anti-unchained demon deck. That was a good deck to run and um, was a good example of uh, how that can work. But let me just double check how I want to do things. I really like the high mana decks. For some reason, they just always get me interested. Um... This is almost going back to the anti chain Demon deck a little bit. Uh, I was trying to think what kind of clears I have. Yeah, the li running the Lightning. I don't know if it's worth running a double Lightning. I haven't really run double Lightning. That's kind of pointless, though, because if I don't get arrows, then it's kind of like, what am I doing? Um, but that is fun for, like, a trying super high clearing type deck. Um... This is, this is an interesting concept right here for a deck. This is kind of interesting. And then if I included a dragon, too, that might be kind of cool. Uh, if I took out this and put in the dragon. That's kind of a cool deck concept, I think. Let's try this out. See how this one holds up. I think this is a little bit better. Definitely a little bit more anti-unchained demon again. Uh, but I don't know... I guess that deck did have a dragon in it. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't just recreate that deck. I don't know. Um, here, we'll toss the dragon there. I'm going to just wait and see what they're going to play. Okay, that's fantastic. That's something the demon can take out here. Watch it go to work. Poof. Bye-bye a pirate. Okay, this is a slightly bigger problem. Maybe I should have added in Inferno. You know, I'm always thinking like that. Like, should I have done this? Should I have done that? Um, yeah, I mean. I'll try this. Mm. Biggest thing here is I don't know which one is the real one. Uh, it wasn't that one. Well, it doesn't matter. We're going to take out the A Pirate. Um, go ahead and do that to figure it out. Now we can do this. That's actually kind of a bad move, but luckily it can one-hit it, so that's okay. Now we'll play the Lightning, and the Lightning takes that out, and we have another Lightning candidate here with the Demon. Take out the Demon. Hmm. We'll just play another Executioner here. No, we won't. Here's what we're going to do. We'll do this. This isn't great, but I'm going to play this and then try to catch these right there. Oh, I should have caught the Executioner there, too. That was a waste. Hmm. Um. Trying to figure out what is going on here. I'm going to play that against that, and then we'll play the demon over here, take out part of the mud elemental at least, and then get that executioner going. Take out the demon. And we have a pretty big problem here with that black knight. That could cause us some real issues if I don't take it out very quickly. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually use yeah, the pirate. All right, so this is looking okay. I need to do this. All 
Uh, here, I've got to push this stuff back where I'm going, going, going to lose this match. So that is not what I want to have happen. Um, another dragon coming up. There, come on, come on, come on. I just need to get it working. And then what I really need is, uh, yeah, Skull King. Get the Skull King in there. Come on, take out the Skull King. There we go. Now we get the Ape Pirate in there. Oh, no. Why, why is that one skeleton hitting me now? <laughs> this is looking better than I thought. Uh, we could come back and get this match. I don't know. I'm just going to keep putting everything on them right now. We'll see what they've got up their sleeve. Probably some arrows. Something like that. Okay, here's the problem. I'm going to play everything because otherwise they're going to win in overtime. i got to get everything out there. Oh, very close. I would have lost in overtime if they had an arrows possibly. In like a gust of wind, they probably could have pulled that one off. But very, very lucky I was able to come out with that win. And the deck changes definitely showed right there. That's a much more viable deck. I hope that's not the same as the anti-Unchained Demon deck I was using. It should be a little bit different. I don't know. I have to go watch that video. But uh, even if it is, this still shows uh, some great power of the Demon in particular, I think. And its ability to work with decks that are going to clear cards. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of crazy because... Uh, I'm actually, I'm actually at, like, I'm closing in on the same number of trophies in Clash Royale that I have in Castle Crush, which is kind of ridiculous to think about, but I think maybe the trophies, I don't know how relative they are over there to, like, the ones here, uh, but I haven't been playing Clash Royale all that long, and I'm already moving up pretty quick, so that's why I was saying the content will probably be coming sooner rather than later if I can get it to. Um, ah, I can't pay any attention when I'm speaking. Um, but I'm very excited about that because we need to mix things up and what game is more relevant to this game than Clash Royale? So, I know a lot of people have been requesting it for a long time and I wasn't sure how it was going to work from like a spending standpoint, but I think I figured it out. I think I figured out what I can do to uh, make it work so far, and yeah. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and take that out. Do do do. All right, took that out, and. Still looking in good shape, surprisingly, almost. All right, let's play this. It's time to start getting my big stuff out there. Here's the plan. We'll put this down, we'll hit the other lanes with archers. I mean, uh, with arrows, sorry. As soon as possible here, we hit that with arrows, and then we go straight back to this with our own, our counter. And, wait, what was that? Uh, blah, I thought I was, I thought I was using the uh, executioner, but I wasn't. So, yeah, lightnings are kind of useless in this particular situation. Oh, not really. There is one. And we took it out, but, um... That pulls everything. It doesn't actually pull everything to the middle, I guess. It just... All right, I need to get this uh, out pretty quick. I'm going to go like so. Put the pirate over here. Oh. Already got taken out. I'm going to put eight pirates in these lanes to make it really hard for them to do anything over there. And then here I've got my demons in here you can see how much damage they do they make it really hard for my opponent to really uh, get anything out there to come back with now we'll just add in the final nail here the dagger was that skull king and no way they're coming back from this that's game over game over this deck actually right now is performing way above the expectations i thought it would uh, i made these well it was more than a few changes 
Uh, but I made a couple changes that I thought made it all sort of flow together a little bit better. And so far, that's exactly what I'm seeing is that this deck flows together much, much better. And not just against Unchained Demons. Hmm. Seem to have really lost control over that one particular lane. Uh, mostly because of the protection. It's an interesting idea, though. Well, that was a good game, I guess. I like their idea they're using the protection to uh, try and, well, protect the Archer Queen. That's a smart play. If I run an Archer Queen deck, I'll probably try that out, because that's a smart play they were using there. Uh, let's go in and look at the match history a little bit. And we can see right there, uh, let's take a look at Dennis's profile. And highest trophies, 3,230. So I wonder why they're down here. Oh, 800 trophies lower. Oh, well, I guess I mean I'm lower too than I used to be. Um, I'm going to screenshot that deck. Might make some modifications to it. I know not every deck you uh, lose to is necessarily a good deck, but some decks I just find really interesting, and I decided to start recording, I mean, uh, taking note of the decks that I encounter in Clash Royale that my opponents beat me with that I really like or think were really interesting, and actually found my best deck thus far because of that. Like, I had a good deck that I had researched, um, just searching for best Clash Royale decks for certain arenas, and then I ran across a deck that ended up being much, much better, and it absolutely destroyed me, and I used it myself, and it's absolutely, like, worked amazingly for me. So, whatever that means. Okay, this was not necessarily the best play right there. I'm needing to play more carefully. So here's what we're going to do. That. They have Unchained Demon. They probably don't have a whole lot of other stuff, so... It's probably not a spam deck. We'll see, but I don't know why they'd have an archer. I mean, a, whatever I was trying to say about that. A pirate. Oh, come on. No, are you serious? There we go. Got to take him out. Got to take him out, yes. I was, like, waiting to make sure. I was trying to get out there, sorry, to make sure that they weren't going to have a nature heal. Those are so rough. That wasn't going to really work right there. Um, Here's the play. Bye-bye, pirate. Bye-bye. So, next play. I'm just holding him off here, I guess, really until I can get my uh, mana going. I'm at max 9 right now. What I really need to do is get my Skull King out there. Uh, I need to either go for... Dra I'm going to go for the Dragon because... We're going to find out pretty soon here if they have arrows, I would think... Oh, I can't play that. Hmm. Let's get Skull King out. And Lightning. Oh wow. Another lightning. They're starting to actually get a foothold here, which is not good, so. I don't want them to get that unchained demon going either. Um as soon as they do this, I'll go ahead and do that. Make that play. And go ahead and take that one out there. Now we go ahead and play this stuff. They don't seem to be running nature heals. I haven't seen them use a single nature heal yet. Or perhaps they just haven't gotten it coordinated. That's also a possibility. Uh, there's my other dragon. I'm getting the middle lane real established. Oh my gosh, no! I didn't realize that was at such low health right there. I had to use an arrows because, um... Yeah, that was starting to go real badly, real fast. This isn't a great matchup, actually, right there with the, uh... Yeah, hmm. Well... Here, we're gonna keep putting this together. We've got ourselves a plan. I don't know how I can't get close enough to them to actually, like, do anything. It's my main complaint at the moment. Come on, got to take out the Unchained Demon. They can't have too many other cards here. I can't lose this. 
I really need a Skull King. I don't know why I couldn't pull a Skull King right now. Uh, I think it's a better move to go with the Dragon there. We'll see. There's a Skull King. That's what I needed. I don't know what the heck they're doing with that. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. I need to take them out. All right. Good, good, good. <laughs> I had so little health I was going to die really, really fast in overtime. That was about to be really, really bad. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought in the comments about this video and what other types of content I should create. Maybe subscribe if you're new to my channel for all things mobile gaming related. And thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more videos.